hello guys can you check this application out now let's uh, develop this uh, layout for future projects using grid template areas okay and you can check it it is responsive too okay so that is that without wasting my time let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our source folder let's create a called first one asset then call the second one components and let's take the first one assets in this project we have no spinners or images so they will blend nothing the next one components component let's create a file and call it main page yes. inside that refc so that what now we do why don't we put we have the fragment okay, so inside that we have a section a div with a p tag to say hello let's link that to the app.js to view on the screen so over right here let's go main page the okay, let's import it good okay, now let's check out screen if we got hello on the screen you can see guys we got hello on the screen means we're ready to go so let's reposition everything this is mobile first okay so now we're ready what do we do now let's create uh, the uh, pages okay which is they are going to be the contents so the contents i need how many contents i need about eight contents so let's create the first one the first one is going to be content one content one dot yes inside that array fce okay so let's uh, we wouldn't change it now we only change when we want to work inside okay so let's quickly move to content two um, Content two dot js refce. Okay, let's go to content three, which is the last one. Content eight dot js refce. So that is all our contents already. Now let's bring all the contents to there main page okay so we go to the main page and call all the contents so over here this is the main page so let's take there hello off then call the first content let's create a div a div to handle that then we say uh, call the div and say content one yeah. that is that let's give it a class name or class name let's give it content one same name. content one okay so we're going to repeat this for all the contents gonna make it bigger so that is that you can see that we've done for all of them now what we're going to do next is to import for all of them good so we have imported all of them too let's check our screen you can see we got all the content contents on the screen so now what we're going to do is to uh, you see the amada div here this guy is the amada div let me we, yeah i can see the amada div so this is the amada div let's give it a class name and call it layout good layout okay now let's create this class name called layout Let's go to CSS. Let's go to this, go to this, go to this. Close all the contents and go to CSS. Go to the same. Now inside the layout, what do we need? Okay, let's take width 100%. Let's take height 100VH and display grid. Now next, we should get a, a, the grid template areas. Okay make it bigger good now let's use the great template columns let's use 100 great uh, template rules let's use one two three four five six seven seven okay so we have two fr five fr two fr two fr two fr, fr the last one one fr so next is the create the great template areas and over here let's have uh, it's going to be mobile first so let's just give it content one okay so seven minus the sidebar when it's on a bigger screen then we give it a sidebar nice it's complaining let's see okay no complain yeah that is that now to see this uh changes let's use the what do you call it the some colors okay let's use some background colors for it so to begin we need to allocate these class names 
to all the class names that we have here so content one then we allocate this class name to it so let's call content one so let's come back here and say dot content content one content one let's give it what um, grid area let's give it content one And let's give it a background color. Good. Well, I complain. You can see, guys. So we're going to do likewise for all the eight of them. So let's copy this. So that is that. Uh, uh, this is, let's make this thing white. So we can go to the main page, make it uh, test uh, to Excel. Then, uh, what do I mean? We need to send it. But for that, let's give it test wide. All right. Uh -huh. Let's send it. So send us, send us to send us something. Let's use the, the CSS to do that. Let's use the Senate class. So over here we can say Senate. Yard. Good. Inside that we can say the display flex. Justify comment send align item center. So let's apply the Senate class to all of them so we say here yeah, we can say send it good so likewise here too and this and send it good. that is that for bigger screens we we need to apply the grid template areas okay so we come down here then call the media query so when the main width is seven six eight pixels what do we do let's call the layout class and edit it good so let's copy that and bring it inside good. so what do we do to the layout height the same display grid the same what else the columns let's make it four okay so we can say repeat four comma one of our then okay that was the same so the content one let's add more so that is let me make it bigger so guys we have content one content two content one spread it out all the four columns then we have content eight at the sidebar okay, then we have content two also taking three so we have content two content two content two over here then over here now we can have content three which is going to take two two span two columns two rows you can see content four to so span two rows then content five only one row content six one row and content seven can take all the four columns like the footer okay so that is the let's check it out you can see guys so conf contact one two three four five six seven eight so that is that simple that is that for our layout Thank you so much for sticking through. Please don't forget to do good. Catch you in the next one. Say cheers.